here I made an automated invoices without VBA code here. So when we change any invoice number, all other information will get it. Customer information as well as item information. So we can change only the invoice number. That remaining information, we will get it. So we have here customer database where we can add new customer as well as edit existing customer. So I'm just adding one customer here customer address and city. Now we have other sheet. This is invoice details where we are entering all the in invoice information. That means customer details, invoice information, items and total price. So we can select the customer here. Then we can enter the invoice number here. Invoice date also we can enter here. Item unit price, quantity, total. So when we click this invoice number from invoice info, we will get all other information. Now I'm going to show you how to make this one. I'm not deleting the format of this item. I'm just deleting the formula only. Just I am showing here what are the formulas I am using here in order to make this type of invoices. Invoices format you can make in your own way. You can add other additional column, you can make commercial invoice, tax invoice, perform invoice, that is you can make your own choice. So I am deleting everything, every formulas here and adding new formula here. So first of all, I want to add this invoice number list here. To add this invoice list here, I am using here unique function unique open parenthesis invoice number starting from d2 row i'm um, d2 row till i'm using here uh, 500 rows for if you want to enter new records it will be useful that you can make 100 or 1000 up to you so i'm here adding 500 rows for the new invoices also so just adding this closing the bracket so we will get here the unique invoices only. So I am adding this in the data validation list. First invoice number hash click OK. Now in the data validation we can see all the invoices available. Now I want to get the invoice date when we change the invoice number. I am using here VLOOKUP and lookup value is the invoice number and lookup array is the invoice column in the invoice details sheet so going to invoice details sheet i'm just using invoice details as well as invoice number and invoice date these are the two columns so i'm adding here um, the column number should be second column because we need the invoice date that is on this second column so we get the invoice date while change the invoice number now we want to get the customer information while changing the invoice number. For that purpose, I am using here index function, type index, open parenthesis, starting from the array, starting from the customer name, till I am using here, yeah, unit price. That is 500 rows as usual. And opening match function, the lookup value, lookup value on the match function, invoice number on the invoice template, comma, then lookup array, that is invoice number in the invoice details sheet. So this also 500 rows, zero for exact match. Then 
we need the customer information that is the first three column so open curly braces here here i am entering customer name address city that is the first three column so open curly brace here 1 comma 2 comma 3 close it close the bracket enter it's showing spill because it need three columns so we want to add one more column now we have get it but we need in horizontally so we have to change it to horizontally we can use transpose function it will change vertical range to horizontally so close the bracket we get the customer info now when we change the invoice number the customer info as well as invoice date will change now we need to get the item details so when we change the invoice number we need to get the item details use filter function click on invoice sheet item details that is unit price and quantity and item name 500 rows as usual and our criteria is invoice number select this invoice number array till 500 rows d500 equals invoice number in the invoice template comma close the bracket now we have get invoice number customer information item information we just multiply unit price multiply quantity just drag it now we need to get the sum of this total price so just drag this d9 to d19 tax i'm using here tax as five percentage you can change when you make up to your preference tax or vat or gst so that is net total multiply five percentage net total multiply five percentage that is tax then gross total means net total plus tax so i forgot to change this uh, I forgot to change tell you the multiple color how to get the multiple color from here for the rows invoice rows so go to conditional formatting i'm just removing the last one delete this uh, rule apply and okay select this part click conditional formatting click new rule use formula to determine which cells to format so is even is even rows only even rows need different color click format here i'm choosing this color click ok click ok we have found an error just we want to fix this error click format again still having problem I'm just right retyping is even so I'm just removing this formula all Click conditional formatting, new rule. You can try again. Type is even. It should be not rows, row. Uh, type rows, that's why it happened. Yes, we need to change it to row.
on the new rule type here is even open parenthesis row row not rows close it select the color to fill click ok click ok so if we go to add here the equals so click new rule again remove this remove this i hope it will work click ok apply ok i hope you understand this video thank you very much